my dear students in this video we will understand the memory representation of binary trees that is storage representation of binary trees consider the following binary tree yes this is the binary tree yes there are two memory representations for binary trees as follows number 1 array representation of binary trees and in the array representation of binary trees there are two cases case 1 when the array index starts from 0 case 2 when the array index starts from 1 and the second representation is linked list representation of binary trees so these are the two memory representations for binary trees now let us consider array representation of binary trees so first we shall take case 1 when the array index starts from 0 so example number 1 yes let us take this uh, binary tree yes now the logic for case 1 is when a node is stored at i the left child is stored at 2 into i plus 1 right child is stored at 2 into i plus 2 this is the logic now this is the array 0 to 7 8 elements are there the root is stored at 0 there is a is the root therefore a is stored at 0 left child of a is b therefore b is stored at 2 into 0 plus 1 that is 1 b is stored at 1 next right child of a is c and a is stored at 0 therefore c is stored at 2 into 0 plus 2 2 therefore c is stored at 2 next left child of b is d b is stored at 1 therefore d is stored at 2 into 1 plus 1 3 very good right child of b is e and b is stored at 1 therefore e is stored at 2 into 1 plus 2 that is 4 e is stored at 4 next left child of c is f and c is stored at 2 therefore f is stored at 2 into 2 plus 1 that is 5 f is stored at 5 next right child of c is g and c is stored at 2 therefore g is stored at 2 into 2 plus 2 that is 6 g is stored at 6 now all the uh, nodes we have uh, stored in the array quite simple we shall take one more example we shall take this array 12 elements 0 to 11 a the root is stored at 0 yes now a is stored at 0 the left child of a is c therefore c is stored at 2 into 0 plus 1 is 1 c is stored at 1 right child of a is b and a is stored at 0 therefore b is stored at 2 into 0 plus 2 2 b is stored at 2 next left child of c is d c is stored at 1 therefore d is stored at 2 into 1 plus 1 3 d is stored at 3 right child of c is e and c is stored at 1 therefore e is stored at 2 into 1 plus 1 4 therefore e is stored at 4 now right child of b is h and b is stored at 2 therefore h is stored at 2 into 2 plus 2 6 therefore h is stored at 6 next Uh, left child of d is f and d is stored at 3 therefore f is stored at 2 into 3 plus 1 7 therefore f is stored here and right child of e is g and e is stored at 4 therefore g is stored at 2 into 4 plus 2 10 yes g is stored here quite simple just apply that logic and go on storing the nodes in the array now we shall consider case 2 when the array index starts from 1 yes same example binary trees yes binary tree and now when a node is stored at i the left child is stored at 2 into i and the right child is stored at 2 into i plus 1 this is the logic for case 2 when the array index starts from 1 now this is the array 1 to 8 you can just see the array is starting from 1 here the root is stored at 1 therefore a is stored at 1 left child of a is b therefore b is stored at 2 into 1 2 b is stored at 2 right child of a is c therefore c is stored at 2 into 1 plus 1 3 yes c is stored at 3 now left child of b is d and b is stored at 2 therefore d is stored at 2 into 2 4 yes d is stored at 4 right child of b is e and b is stored at 2 therefore e is stored at 2 into 2 plus 1 5 e is stored at 5 left child of c is f and c is stored at 3 therefore f is stored at 2 into 3 6 f is stored here 
and right child of C is G and C is stored at 3. Therefore, G is stored at 2 into 3 plus 1, 7. G is stored here. Now, all the nodes are stored in the array using this logic. Simple. Example number 2. Let us take one more example. Yes, this is the array containing elements from 1 to 12. Yes, the root is stored at 1. Now, left child of A is C and A is stored at 1. Therefore, C is stored at 2 into 1, 2. C is stored at 2. So, right child of A is B and A is stored at 1. Therefore, B is stored at 2 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. Yes, B is stored at 3. Left child of C is D and C is stored at 2. Therefore, D is stored at 2 into 2, 4. Yes, D is stored at 4. The right child of C is E and C is stored at 2. Therefore, E is stored at 2 into 2 plus 1, 5. E is stored at 5. And right child of B is H and B is stored at 3. Therefore, H is stored at 2 into 3 plus 1, 7. H is stored at 7. Next, left child of D is F. D is stored at 4. Therefore, F is stored at 2 into 4, 8. Yes, F is stored here. Next, last one. Right child of E is G and E is stored at 5. Therefore, G is stored at 2 into 5 plus 1 is equal to 11. Yes, G is stored here. So, quite simple. Okay, case 1 also, case 2 also. If you remember that logic, when a node is stored at I, the left child is stored at 2 star I, right child is stored at 2 star I plus 1. This is when the array index starts from 1. Simple. Now, let us go to the linked list representation of binary trees. So, a node of a binary tree is represented as follows. You see, in a node of a binary tree, there are three parts. Middle one contains the information. Left one contains the address of the left child. Right one contains the address of the right child. Left address will contain the address of the left child. Right address will contain the address of the right child. Yes, this is the tree. Yes, this is the tree. Now, root will contain the address of A, the root. And left pointer of A will point to the node B. Right pointer of A will point to node C. Similarly, left pointer of B will point to D. Right pointer of B will point to E. And left pointer of D, there is no left child, therefore uh, null. Uh, right child of D, there is no right child, therefore null. Left child of E, e is null. Right child of E is also null. Next, uh, left child of C is F. Yes. Right child of C is G. And left child of F, no left child, therefore null. Right child of F, no right child, therefore null. No left child for G, therefore null. No right child for G, therefore null. That's all the uh, binary, uh, linked list representation of binary trees. I think uh, uh, linked list representation of binary trees is much more easier. There is no formula directly. Uh, information, left address of the left child to the left, address of the right child to the right.